Hello everyone, it's Not a Noob Pat, and welcome to Perk Review. Today we're taking a look at the general survivor perk, Kindred. This perk is two pronged. First, let's cover if you are using this perk. While any other survivor is on the hook, all of your teammates' auras are revealed to you. Then, if the killer is within 16 meters of the hook survivor, their aura will also be revealed to you. Now, when the survivor with Kindred is hooked, all other survivors' auras are revealed to one another. If the killer is within 16 meters of the hook survivor with Kindred, the killer's aura is also shown to all players. In a quick summary, with Kindred and you are on the hook, the survivors can see each other's aura. If you have Kindred and one of your teammates is on the hook, only you will be able to see your teammates' auras. I know this can be a bit complicated, so the video demonstration may help. The pros are that this perk can help everyone in a match. When you are hooked with this perk, everyone gets to see each other's auras and what direction the killer is headed in. Then, this perk should help you get unhooked, and this can be very helpful in solo queue. The only con is that Survive With Friend groups should have good communication skills that could potentially replace this perk. Let's get into our video demonstration. Here, I am the survivor using Kindred. You can see that when my teammate is hooked, I am able to see the yellow aura of my teammate and the pinkish red aura of the killer since they are in close range to the hook. You will be able to tell when Kindred is active by looking for the mini Kindred icon just left of the perk window. Then I want to show you what it's like if your teammate is using Kindred when they are on the hook. Even though I'm not using the perk, I'm still able to see my teammate's aura and I can still see the killer's aura so long as they are within 16 meters of the hook survivor with Kindred. Let's get into our video examples. First, I love this perk for killer identification. If you haven't seen the killer by the time they hook the first person, you will get a clear view from this perk and see what direction that they're headed in. In this example, I also get another benefit. I see that this hag is setting traps near the hook. I know that if I come in for the unhook around the left side instead of the right, I will be good to go and not trigger any traps. Then, this perk can obviously help you be covert around hooks and help you if you are an altruistic player. I stay hidden behind this rock and I can wait this situation out and be undetected by the doctor since I know what direction he is headed in. Then, a bit later in the game, I display a similar situation again. I make sure the doctor exits the hook area, then I unhook the survivor and heal them up. Here's a situation where I get in a chase with the killer while I am near the hook so I can tell where the killer is at throughout the entire chase and I end up avoiding being put into the dying state. Then here's a similar situation of reading where the killer is going. Instead of seeing the killer's aura, I know the killer is chasing my teammate closest to me, so I avoid running in their path so I don't run into the crossfire and take a hit. Then, this is also a situation where I get three kindred examples back to back to back. Obviously not ideal because this means three of my teammates were hooked in quick succession, but this does happen sometimes. Anyways, my attempt to blend in falls short here and the huntress hits me. I am preparing to loop at the garage here, but look what happens. I see that the killer actually stops for hatchets at the locker and goes back to proxy camp the hook. Now, I know that the killer is again on my teammate and I feel comfortable going for the unhook as soon as the killer ends up downing and picking up the other survivor. For the final time this match, I see the killer coming out of the basement with Kindred and I'm curious to see what direction they go in. I see that they end up heading in my direction and I do my best to hide behind this police car and the killer ends up strolling right on by me while I go for the unhook. For our final example of Kindred, I have a very long example that shows the good and the bad of Kindred. However, I know many of you will enjoy it and have a laugh like I did when I was playing in this match. Also note that I have borrowed time here, which has really good synergy with this perk. In this case, I don't know the killer is here since it is a crouching pig. Keep in mind if the killer is undetectable, you won't see them with this perk. Again, that's Mikey Tier 1, Ghostface Shrouded, Wraith, and Piggy Crouching, and so on. I get heavily relying on Kindred showing me the killer near the hook, and sometimes the killer is right there when I'm not expecting it since I can't see their aura. 
That being said, Kindred did allow me to see that this pig thinks I'm running away, and this allows me to go back in for the unhook and give the survivor borrowed time. The random survivor we are playing with fails to take a hit, and when the piggy goes for me, I end up taking the speed boost. And what happens to our random buddy? He goes down in the shack while I open the door. However, Kindred is going to come up clutch yet again. My teammates and I feel comfortable healing. After it looks like the killer is going to come for us at the door, they end up not doing this and go back to check the hook. Fortunately, Claudette is able to heal me and I'm ready to go for the borrowed time rescue number two. I wait for the killer to come by, use my sprint burst, and save the person off the hook yet again. Surely we can all escape now, right? We have body blockers, the survivor got a speed boost from being hit with borrowed time, and then what happens? Well, they get a bit too cheeky and try to teabag not close enough to the exit, and they go down yet again. Should I end the clip here? No, I've built up the suspense too much, and what happens to our good friend David King? Now the pig clearly only wants to kill one person at this point and picks this survivor up, but since the pig hasn't been hitting us, we continue to body block. I thought the killer may have been messing around and let him out, but he does end up dropping the David King and eventually starts hitting us. What more could we have done in this case? David does deserve to die. The pig eventually picks David back up, and you can see the wiggle he built up from us body blocking and then him being dropped. However, this is just enough time left for him to still crawl out, so the pig does have to pick him up, and even though this David did absolutely nothing to deserve to survive, he does in large part due to me using Kindred in Borrowed Time. Anyways, let's go into our final example where I show somewhat of a downside to this perk. Like I said, I think Kindred is great in solo queue because survivors should save you off the hook and you can see what they're up to when one of your teammates are hooked, but don't rely on this too much as you're about to see. You are still playing with random people and sometimes matchmaking can be funky. First off, we have a face camping Freddy and I see this with my Kindred, but I want my teammate off the hook since I'm such a nice guy. So let's assess the situation. I get healed and run over and I can see the Freddy camping the hook and know he will try to grab me if he gets the chance. However, I know that there is another David King around the corner who will get the unhook if I fail as soon as the Freddy grabs me, or at least that is my hypothesis. So, I purposely get grabbed while trying to get the survivor, and the David King makes an absolute big brain play. Instead of waiting a moment so the killer can take me to another hook, the David runs in and tries to rescue when I'm right there, and uh, guess what? He takes a hit, can't rescue, then he dead hards away. Sometimes you can't rely on your teammates to make good plays with Kindred, here I was purposely grabbed because I saw a certain teammate right around the corner who would be able to make the right play and they didn't. The last two examples for David Mains have been a bit rough. Anyways, it's important to remind y'all, face campers never win and I will teabag you and make you find me on the hatch if you do so, so don't be a jerk. Anyways, let's give this perk a grade. Kindred is an 8 out of 10. This is a good perk with nearly no downside. That being said, this perk benefits you more if you are an altruistic player. Obviously, if you don't plan on getting a lot of unhooks, this perk will only help you when you're being hooked. The only reason this perk isn't rated an 8.5 or 9 is because red and purple ranked survive with friend groups should be able to communicate with one another and replace this perk with something else. One person can say I'm going for the unhook, the hooked person can call out what direction the killer is walking in, and so on. Obviously, Kindred can still be helpful with survive with friend groups, but it does lose a bit of luster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk review, make sure to look for the links in the description and visit my channel to subscribe. I also stream twice a week on Twitch if you want to stop by. Take it easy.